clean cut pa kayo. Yeah, that's right. I remember we were out drinking in houses. We were saving 40, 50, 60 pounder chicken home. I'd say we'd cut them real thin and dry it. On Sunday, I'd cut them nice. Hard pulling up. You pull up and then it pull back down. So I start pulling again. Go and go back down. <laughs> Come said, tell it, let it go. So I don't know how much let that go. I finally got it up. I looked over and said, uh oh, Grandpa, I said, what's the matter? He said, I think I got the bottom wire. I said, it's coming up. <laughs> he said, the gray side of the little white spots. Oh man. When I got it up, he, he reached over and behind him, and the robo took his 2200 and shot it through the head. And he tied it with their tripod through the mouth and the tail. Went into this big red house on the water. Wow. That's what I call it. I didn't know it was a scowl. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was only eight years old in Clendander. And I remember they put a big rope on the tail and they lifted it up. They were just as tall as my grandpa, but wider. Wow. They laid it down on this big table. Yeah. I remember grandpa whistling shh, 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 when he walked in. Huh. He came back out of one of those little yeah, sandwich bags, mm -hmm. had two pop in there, bubble gum and penny can. Huh. It's funny. He's his grandson, the yeah, man inside. If you like your fish too much, you give it this one. To this day, I don't know how much you made on that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> on oh. the way in from there to the beach, there's a two point swimming across. Oh. So he roped it with a, with a rope. He gave him all sorts of stuff. Big eyes and top it, and he shot that. Uh. Then we got to shore, he cleaned it out and saved the heart and liver. He threw the rest in the water. I remember Katya coming down and she went down and cut this white bag off of her and cleaned it up. And I went and I couldn't do what in the world she doing. And she came up and she threw the heart liver in there. So oh, she needs somebody to carry it up to the house. So that night we had uh, heart and liver and rice. Mm, yeah. And we had little square chunks to me look like this cloth. Huh. I didn't touch I pushed them aside all of it. Grandma said, oh, what, you like this one? I said, Grandma, we were full we can't afford vegetables. We eat your dish cloth. She said, no, 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 that's good, you try it. So I did, and I liked it, it was good, I finished it. <laughs> and Grandpa said, you know what that was, son? I said, no. That, that dish time, <laughs> 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 Then he gave me a hand clock. What do they call it now? Tripe. Uh, tripe, yeah. Yeah, tripe. Tripe. Yeah. yeah. He told me cut right here, back right here. Almost an hour and 45 minutes. And I took the harness, put it on the oil, put it down my like, oh, and I hung up my jacket and my hat. Grandma had me, uh, made me a sandwich and chopped and milk. I went and laid down. Yeah. I was laying down back here, that meat grinder going. Yeah. I said, oh, they're working on the meat already, so I need nothing, I went this way. Next morning, we had uh, the potatoes, bacon, scrambled eggs, and looked made really like black sausage mm -hmm. together. Well, I had two help me, so it was good. We got the fishing ground, Grandpa asked me, so I would like your breakfast. And, oh, good, Grandpa. The chocolate, the toast, the, the eggs, and the, the sausages, and the potatoes, he said, yeah. Chocolate, he said, yes. Potato, he said, yes. Good toast. Yeah. <laughs> eggs, he said, good. Sausage, he said, no. <laughs> huh? She remember that horn you cut that now? She said, yeah. That the deer brings <laughs> my eggs. <laughs> yep. Man. Was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my family's eating tonight. Heart, liver, and onions. 
Oh, Lord. 